Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about brute forcing a WordPress site. Unlike hacks that focus on vulnerabilities in software, a brute force attack aims to be the most straightforward kind of method to gain access to a site. It repeatedly tries usernames and passwords until it gets in. Often deemed inelegant, they can be very successful when people use passwords like 123456 and usernames like admin. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one virtual install of Kali Linux, one virtual install of Metasploitable 3 Windows 2008, and all my virtual adapters have been set to host only adapter. To ensure that we have a trouble-free lab experience, the first thing we need to do is discover the IP address for both our target and our Kali machine. Let's start with our target machine. So I've opened up a command prompt and at the command prompt I've typed in ipconfig. The IP address for my local area connection on my target machine is 192.168.56.140. This is the IP address for my target machine. Your IP address will differ. Let's go back to our Kali machine. Let's open up a prompt, and at the prompt we're going to type in ifconfig, and we're going to hit enter, and the IP address for my Ethernet Zero adapter on my Kali machine is 192.168.56.134. This is the IP address for my Kali machine. Your IP address will differ. Let's close out this prompt, and let's open up a fresh one. At the prompt, we're going to check for connectivity by using the ping command. So at the prompt, I'm going to type in ping, followed by the IP address of my target machine. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Notice that I have positive responses returning from my target machine. Now to break out of the sequence, go ahead and type in control C. Close out your terminal prompt, and we're now ready to begin the lab. So the first thing we want to do is create a working folder. So on our desktop anywhere, I'm just going to right click and from the context menu, I will select create folder. I'm going to give this folder a user friendly name. I've called mine shell codes. You can call your working folder anything you choose. Once you have given your folder a user friendly name, go ahead and click on the create button. Now let's go ahead and open up our working folder. And over in the right window pane, right click anywhere, and from the context menu, you're going to select create a document, and you're going to choose empty file. You're going to give this empty file a user friendly name, and this is going to be for our custom word list. So what you want to do here is give this file name a user friendly name that identifies it as being a custom word list for your Metasploitable 3 installation. I've called my custom word list Metasploitable3.txt. You are free to call yours whatever you choose. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the Create button. Go ahead and let's open up this new Word file. And we're going to copy and paste the following from the lab file for this lab or from the description for the video. This is the custom word list that we're going to be using for our Metasploitable 3 brute force attack on that WordPress site. Go ahead and close out your word list, and when prompted, do a save. Go ahead and close out your working folder, and from your desktop, find your working folder. Right click, and from the context menu, we're going to select Open Terminal here. Now, we just created our own custom word list, but Kali comes with a large number of word lists for well-known applications. And to locate these word lists inside of our Kali machine, we can type locate followed by a space and then the word word list and if you hit enter you'll see that Kali has a large number of custom made word list that you can use for some well known applications. So if you're performing a brute force attack on let's say MySQL or some other well known application you could use one of these ready made word lists or you could go to the internet and find one that has been created for that particular application. At the prompt, just type in clear, hit enter. From our Kali machine, let's go ahead and open up a browser. 
and in the address bar we're going to type in the IP address of our target machine my IP address is 192.168.56.140 I'm going to type in a colon and I'm going to follow that up with the port number that WordPress is currently using and that port number is 8585 give that a forward slash and type in the word WordPress go ahead and hit enter and that brings up the default page for the WordPress site running on Metasploitable 3. Once you have the web page up, go ahead and scroll on down until you come to Meta, which is in the left-hand menu. And underneath Meta, you can find Login. Go ahead and click on Login. And this is the default login page for the admin who wants to access the WordPress site. Now, we can try a number of different default usernames and passwords, such as admin and the default password for WordPress out of the box is password but we know that's not going to work and we also have the username and password but if we didn't have the username and password well then we'd have to perform a brute force attack and that's what we're going to do next go ahead and minimize your browser back at our terminal go ahead and type in MSF console hit enter and this is going to start Metasploit so the first method that we're going to attempt to use to brute force our WordPress site involves using Metasploit and Nmap. So at the prompt, I'm going to copy and paste the following command. This is going to be a script that is up inside of Nmap, and we're telling it that you can use the username and password list, the custom word list that we created earlier, and you can find it up inside of the shell codes folder which is sitting on our desktop. I'm then going to tell it what port it needs to be looking at, followed by the IP address of our target. Now when I hit enter, it's going to tell me the database is not connected. That's fine. Go ahead and close out this terminal. Let's open up a fresh terminal. And at the prompt, we're going to type in or copy and paste the following command. And this command is going to start the database that Metasploit needs. So at the prompt, I've typed in sudo space service, the name of the database that Metasploit needs. Give it a space, and I'm going to type in the start command. Hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to come back to the prompt, letting us know that that command completed successfully. We next need to initialize the MSF database. So to do this at the prompt, I've typed in sudo space MSF DB space INIT. Go ahead and hit enter. It tells you the database has already started. The database appears to be already configured, skipping the initialization. That's fine. Go ahead and close out this terminal. From your desktop, right click on your working folder and again, let's open the terminal here. Let's go ahead and use our up arrow. And let's bring up that command again to launch Metasploit MSF console. Hit enter. Once we have a Metasploit prompt, go ahead and use your up arrow. And let's bring back up that nmap command that we previously tried. Go ahead and hit enter. And we're now scanning the WordPress site using that custom made word list. The scan does take a few minutes, so do be patient. After a few minutes, the scan completes, and we have found a number of usernames and passwords. And so we see in the scan results, where we see accounts, we have the following credentials that have been discovered. Go ahead and close out the terminal, and let's right-click on our working folder, and from the context menu, let's open again a new terminal here. Again, at the prompt, let's type in MSF console. Hit enter. This time, we're going to use a auxiliary scanner that comes with Metasploit. And so from our lab file, I'm going to copy and paste the following into the terminal prompt for Metasploit. And we're going to be using the scanner for WordPress underscore XMLRPC underscore login. Go ahead and hit enter. And now we have to configure the scanner with the correct information so that it can find our WordPress site. So the first thing we're going to do is set the remote host. 
So at the prompt, I'm going to type in set space our host space the IP address of our target. Hit enter. We now have to set the remote port that WordPress is currently using on our target machine, which is port 8585. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space our port space 8585. Hit enter. I now have to tell it the target URI which is going to be space forward slash WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I next have to give it the path to the username file, which is sitting on our desktop inside of our shell codes or our working folder. And the name of that file for me is metasploitable3.txt. Your name for your custom word list file may differ. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the passwords. So at the prompt, I'm going to type in the following command, followed by the path for that custom word list. So I'm going to use the set pass underscore file command, give it a space, and now I have to tell it the path to that Metasploitable 3 custom word list. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now I have to tell it to search for a blank password. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space blank underscore passwords, set that to true. And I'm going to tell it that I do not want it to stop if it finds the username and password that works. I want it to continue on to try additional usernames and passwords from our custom word list. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space stop underscore on underscore success, and I've set that to false. Hit enter. I'm now going to set the option for verbose to false. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space verbose space false. I'll hit enter. Now I can type in the run command. I'll hit enter. And the brute force attack begins using Metasploit on my WordPress site. After just a few minutes, our scan completes and Metasploit returns the following results. Pretty much the same results that we gathered using the Nmap script. We can close out this terminal and from our working folder, let's right click and again let's open up terminal here. Now, no brute force attack would be complete on the WordPress site without using WP scan. So at the prompt, I'm going to type in the following WP scan space dash dash URL followed by the complete path for the WordPress site on our target machine. Give that a space, dash dash passwords, and here I'm gonna type in the path to our custom word list that I have up inside of my working folder. Once that's all typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter. So the first time that you launch WP Scan, it's gonna to wanna to update the database, and it will not allow you to continue on until you do. Now to do this, we're going to go up here to Devices. Let's go to Network. We're going to change our adapter setting over to NAT Network, like so. Go ahead and use your up arrow. Bring up that previous command for WP Scan and hit Enter. And now it's updating the database. Now once the update has completed, you can go ahead and change back to your previous network adapter settings for host only and you'll be able to again have connectivity with the target. Yes the scan was aborted so let's go ahead and return back up to our devices. Let's go to network. Let's go to network settings and let's select again host only adapter. Hit OK and from the prompt here we're just going to use our up arrow bring back up that command one more time and let's hit enter. And it would probably help if I typed in the correct IP address for my target machine. So let's go ahead and bring up that command one more time. And I'll use my arrows to go back over to the IP address and set that last octet to 140. And let's go back to the end of our command here. And I'll hit enter. And just as with our previous attempts, we come back with four good valid combinations for a username and password. So in this short video presentation, you got to see how we can go about creating a custom word list for brute forcing our way into a WordPress site 
You also got to see the number of different methods and tools that we can use to brute force our way onto that WordPress site. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.